on a Roman cross. He had been dead and in the grave for three days when he came back to life again. And we know that both the Jewish and Roman leaders hated Christianity, so all they had to do to destroy it forever was to find the body of Christ, which nobody ever did, for the Christian faith was established on the fact of his resurrection. Christ's disciples were so convinced of his resurrection that each one gave his life for preaching that Christ had risen from the dead. They believed this because they had seen him killed, buried and resurrected for themselves. So they weren't hearing stories. And that is why I'll refer to our latest story in Pokot. That is why the people in Pokot will not hear any other story because they see Mama Rosa. They are seeing this woman who had died. In fact, before even Mama Rosa died, because now she is alive. She was gravely ill. And just by one word, one word from a man anointed, called, chosen by the mighty and terrible Jehovah, for this nation and this land. Oh, how we despise the servants of the Lord sent to us, and yet we expect the Lord to bless us as a nation and as a people. Yet there is a remnant in this nation who are crying daily, day in, day out, weeping, tearing their clothes for this nation, so that the Lord will spare us from his wrath. How I pray that we will humble ourselves we will humble ourselves just like the people of Nineveh right from the highest position and leadership in this country and repent because where the politicians and the rhetoric they are talking and what you see on social media we are going on a dangerous we are treading on dangerous ground as a people we must come back to the Lord unashamedly if you're born again please be born again properly even as scripture says that indeed weeping may endure for night but joy cometh in the morning but the name of the Lord is a strong tower another scripture reminds us and the righteous run into it and they are saved may we run to the name of Jehovah today may we run to the name of Jehovah from our pastors, our bishops, as congregations, as believers, may we run to Jehovah, who, who are Him alone is our ever-present help in time of need. And we need Him in this country today. May we run to Jehovah. So that to the rest of the world we are not whitewashed tombs as Kenya. That we are shining on the outside, but inside is rotten flesh and bones. Jehovah have mercy. Jehovah have mercy. There is indeed life after death. But the question is, which side of death, which side of death will you arise at because there are only two destinations it is either heaven or hell my prayer for us is dear God Jehovah Elohim thank you for the record in your word the Bible regarding the witnesses who saw the living Christ following his death his burial and resurrection and thank you again for your promise of life after life and not life after death for all your true followers for those who are not true followers of you indeed there will be life after death but it will still lead to eternal damnation thank you for hearing and answering our prayer oh most gratefully